hello to all youtube friends all around the world it's me arjun back again with another important video tutorial related to css what i am gonna show is awesome css feature that gives us to play with uh, gradient yes friend gradient as you know gradient let us to display a smooth transition between two or more colors it blends one color to another and gives beautiful color combination and effect while designing well dear friend css support two types of gradients linear and radial let me show you practically i have basic html structure tag already here and file is save as index.html on my desktop i've also opened that file on browser here i think it's a better to show with internal css to save our time but you can play around with external css as well trial and let's create the class as a box to apply the gradient in this box where width is uh, let's say 400 pixel and height is also 400 pixel first uh, let's start with a linear gradient which goes to down top left right and diagonally the syntax is uh, to apply the gradient that is a background background image where linear gradient and we can specify direction and the colors and at least two colors should be defined direction is optional let's define the color here as the starting point that is let's say green and the another is blue and call that class over here inside the deep tag class that is a box and close it and uh, refresh the browser we got this beautiful gradient with the color start from green to blue we can specify the direction over here which is optional the default is as you can see here green to blue start from top to bottom and if you want to do just opposite you can specify like here as a direction to top like this and to left and to right you can specify left and the another is definitely right and you can specify many color as well like another is let's say red uh, you can specify hexadecimal color as well like um, ff11cc let's say i'm not sure which color is it yeah like this almost like purple color let's say purple yeah close to purple okay we can also apply diagonally as well start at uh, top left top right bottom left bottom right to top left left like this top left top right mm -hmm. and bottom left bottom right bottom right this one bottom right we start from here and goes to bottom right we can add more control over direction of a gradient defining its angle instead of a predefined direction as well value zero degree is uh, same as uh, to top 90 degree to right and 180 degree to bottom i'll show you here with example let's say here 90 degree like this and if we refresh you'll get it like this 90 degree that is to right definitely start from here and goes to right here and the another let's say here 180 degree 180 degree which is to bottom it means start from here and goes to bottom this way 
moreover we can repeat a linear gradient using background image repeating linear gradient and the color and with the color percentage i'll show you here we need to add a repeating repeating linear gradient and we start with color that is let's say green and hello let's say blue that is 10 percent and purple that is let's say 20 percent and if we refresh the browser we can get this repetition like this the gradient is repeated in the same container you can change and play with the color and the percentage according to your requirement second gradient effect we can apply using css is radial which is uh, defined by its center it also needs at least two color stop uh, let me create another box two for radial gradient width that is uh, 400 pixel height is uh, also 400 pixel and let's say background background image image and the syntax that is GRE DINT gradient and we specify the shape size at position it might be ellipse or circle ellipse is default we don't need to mention that and the start color and the another color and another color let's say uh, same green and blue blue G -R -E -E -N. like this and save it and call here deep class box 2 and close it here refresh we got the radial gradient here it's in the circle sometimes if uh, our container is not on the square shape let's say 200 height then what happens it looks like ellipse and if you want circle here we can specify here as the instead of ellipse we can specify that as a circle like this if we refresh look it looks like that it's circle now we can play with a different color starting and ending point according to our requirement it means we can give a space uh, between the color one to another so with example here let's make, let me create another class that is box 3 where width is uh, let's say 400 pixel and height is again 400 pixel and uh, background background image to apply the gradient and the radial radial gradient radial gradient and uh, let's say rate that is five percent and allo allo that is fifteen percent and let's say GRE and green is 50% um, let me call this over here deep deep class box 3 and let's close it and refresh the browser we got this way the, the distance between one to another is a little bit different than what we have on the basic gradient let's say here 90 hmm. we got like this way i will show you some useful example for you let's create some css 
class box full where width is uh, same as 400 pixel as we have before pixel mm, let's copy uh, or let's say let's type background background image where R E P E A T N G repeating L I L I N E A R linear R E P E A T I N G linear gradient where uh, the first one let's say green G R E N another is PLEV blue where that is 10 percentage and the another is low which is 20 percent let me call this here deep class box full close it now we got the repetition this way as what we did before and the another that is let's say linear gradient one where that applied to to left and here in green that is 10 percent arrow let's say again 10 percent and again arrow to 10 percent or let's change it to 20 percent 20 percent and gr in green again 20 percent uh, same box for the last one you will get something little bit change here that's the output uh, left to left it goes left with green 10 percent and allo 10 percent and again 20 percent 20 percent like this it's it shows this way the container box mm, let's create another one that a box 5 and uh, with its 400 400 pixel height is also 400 pixel in basic gr any background i image image property where we are going to apply linear linear gradient gradient to top left here in green let's say 10 percent low again 10 percent low to 20 percent and here in green again to 20 percent and let's call it here deep class box 5 close it here and refresh the browser we got this nice transition here uh, let me separate all of them mm, how we can separate let's give a br tag here does it work definitely line break there yeah little bit of space let me give another br here another br here or you can give uh, you can use the css margin padding this is the last one that's have the nice transition effects through which we can create uh, that gradient that is a linear one to top left green 10 percent yellow something like that let me create another example uh, as well box 6 let's say box 6 width is again 400 pixel height again 400 pixel and the background image property where this time I'm going to use a repetition so R E P E A T I N G repeating L I N E L linear gradient and uh, where let's apply the degree 
and green color green let's say 10 pixel hello 10 pixel green 10 pixel hello 10 pixel again hello 30 pixel let's say and uh, let's call it over here deep class box 6 sorry box 6 here yeah. yeah save it and refresh the browser we got another effect like this with the help of this basic repeating linear gradient you can play around with the color and the degree according to your requirement let me show another example again mm, that box another class 7 and with again 400 pixel height again 400 pixel background image uh, this time i'm going to use rp atng repeating radial radial gradient and uh, let's use green and here in green let's say 10 pixel and we will allow 10 pixel and allow 20 pixel let's say and let's call it here deep class box 7 and refresh the browser now we got these types of cool radial gradient repeated again and again let me create one more that is uh, here dot box 8 mm, same width that is 400 pixel height again that is 400 pixel let's use uh, repeating linear gradient again this time background image repeating gradient where g are in green green that is 10 pixel y l l o w l o let's say 10 pixel and again l o 20 pixels and save it and we need to call it that is 8 let's copy and paste that is 8 this the one with the repetitions so like this we can create um, gradient according to a requirement and make the web page overall designing super cool hope this video is useful for you if you have any question or suggestion do comment on the comment box below and give a little poke on subscribe bell and like button thank you